Hi guys, this is Oleg, your real estate broker with William Bellevue Commons. Today is going to be my market snapshot episode and I'm going to cover the national data for King County, all cities surround Seattle on the west side and all cities around Bellevue on the east side. And we will highlight what's happening with this residential market in October and for the last two weeks where this market is moving. In this episode, you guys are going to learn some good news and some bad news. And let's jump in right to this snapshot. I will bring for you guys on the screen numbers of active listings, pending listings, and sold listings for the last two weeks in King County. And you guys can see with me on the screen, we have 843 active listings for the last two weeks. Out of them, uh, 737 listings went pending and 685 listings went sold. With 67% of the listings selling less than 30 days for last two weeks. If you're comparing this data reference to what's happened in September last month, in last month we have 68% of the listings selling less than 30 days on the market. Uh, in this uh, two weeks in October, we have 67%, only for 1% less listings selling on the market. Very similar data to data what we had in September. You guys can see on the screen, the medium list price for last 90 days in King County was $925,000 and currently medium list price $800,000. $99,000. It's dropped for approximately $26,000. This data shows for us in first two weeks of October, property selling very similar to what's happened in September and market is pretty active right now with a lot of homes pending, 737 properties pending and 685 homes sold in King County. Who's buying right now? Uh, millennials and baby boomers buying right now. What I see on the market, a lot of people who are selling property, downsizing, and specifically right now because property taxes increase a lot. A lot of baby boomers are downsizing, they're selling houses. Yes, they're selling houses on discount, but again, they're buying houses for with discount as well. And pretty much they just wash money from house to house and move into those property. And a lot of first time home buyers buying properties as well. Is this market going to be sustained like it is right now? We'll see. We'll see what's going to be happen in November. But right now in the normal seasonality when the market going to be slowing down, uh, slowing down to 58 to 60% from number of listings that are like normal market in November and December because holiday season is very soon. We're expecting to get more slower market till January and February 2023. The mortgage interest rate is really high right now and went up again. And right now, currently, when I record this video on Friday, was 6.92%. This is Freddie Mac data. It's pretty high mortgage rate comparable what we had just a year ago around three percent this slide guys you can see unemployment rate ages about 3.5 percent in september pretty healthy unemployment rate it's very very low feds try to increase them because we have a lot of job openings and employers looking for employees right now but unemployment rate right now is 3.5 percent and i probably will be not worry unless unemployment rate increase over 6%. A few days ago, Feds released new CPI report with inflation rate 8.2%. It just dropped a little bit comparable to the August from 8.3 to 8.2. But as you guys can see on this screen, in 2022, we have very, very high inflation rate. And comparable to 2021, when the average rate was about 4.7%, most likely we're going to have average rate above 8% in 2022. We'll see what's going to be happening in 2023, but we'll be healthy to see 5.6, 5.5 inflation rate. But remember, Feds wants to get all the way to 2%. And that's going to be take some time. Let's watch this video together. Which sectors 
hits the most. Consumer price index report has just been released year over year. That number is up 8.2 percent. That shows that cost people are paying for everyday items like food, rent and energy has gone up. NBC News business and data reporter Brian Chung is here along with Investopedia editor in chief Caleb Silver. So these numbers are just coming in. So break those numbers down for us. Yeah, we're still seeing very sticky high inflation on the things we have to pay for every day. So even the, the, uh, the Bureau of Labor Statistics points out housing, shelter, food, medical costs all rising. We're seeing medical care costs up 3.7 percent on an annual rate here. Electricity, 15.5 percent. And that's only going to get higher Oof. as we head into winter. Uh, food at home, 13 percent. These are just the unavoidable costs that we have. And these keep rising and staying sticky high month after month. Mm. Ow, ouch. You guys can see like what's happening right now in the market. But remember, Fed wants to get inflation rate all the way to 2% and that's definitely going to take some time. Even if we're going to get to 5.5% inflation rate by spring or summer 2023 and market going to be improved with that, we still have very long way to go to stabilize this economy. To wrap up this video, what I can say, market is moving, property is selling, and of course, in some states, property will be decreasing in the value dramatically. But in Washington states, looks like we have more healthy economy, we have a lot of employment opportunity. For tech companies, it's very, very difficult to replace employees, and they try to keep employers as longer as you can because it's very, very hard to replace those people. That's why we see on the market right now in Seattle area, job freezes. We doesn't see a lot of layoffs right now in different companies. That's it for today. Thank you so much, guys, to be with me today and watch this very short episode. If you like it, smash like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time.